Ben Walker is a little over a year old now, and we've gotten so much new content such as Criterion Dungeons and Islands at a consistent pace. And as of 6.3, we've gotten the last ultimate of the expansion. There's about three months till the next raid tier, and the main draw of 6.3.5 is a new deep dungeon, which is more niche content. All signs point to N Walker achieving the coveted mid expansion burnout phase. It's the time where I'm willing to bet sub numbers are at their lowest, and general interest is waning. And you know what? That's a good thing. Let me explain. First off, this is something that happens in every end. And as an expansion goes on, more and more players drop off. That's just the way it is. Typically, in any MMO expansion, peak players are at the start. They start to filter off, and towards the tail end, right before the next expansion, is where things pick up again. And the cycle begins anew. All of this is true of any MMO, but with FF14 in particular, content is structured differently. All expansions have pretty familiar patch cycles. With Endwalker, we start with the new Alliance Raid, Crystalline Conflict, and a PvP overhaul, as well as things like Adventure Plates. On top of the usual story chapter, every 0.5 patch, at the very least, gives us a new Beast Tribe. We only get new raids here every even patch, meaning for players who enjoy the more standard raiding content, they're waiting about 8 months between tiers. Now that's supplemented by ultimates for those who enjoy them, but at this point, I'm kind of rambling. What does any of this have to do with Burnout? Well, in most other MMOs, this content will be more limited, meaning that as the months go by and new patches come out, the content that came before would become more limited. An obvious example is most WoW content prior to Dragonflight, which has gotten a lot better. Patches would come and go, and so would the content. You take a break and come back to 20 different quest pops, a new system, and months of content missed. MMOs shouldn't hold you by a leash that never feels good to the average player. It's one of the reasons MMOs are seen as less casual friendly than other genres. But here's the thing with FF14, content isn't going anywhere. Minus PvP seasons and arguably raids, everything is still playable. Islands aren't going anywhere, the story will still be there, and raid tiers will still be there with no ahead of the curve achievement. The point is, it's okay to be burnt out on this game. This game is designed so you don't feel like you're missing out. The developers literally say that you should take breaks. So if you are experiencing the mid-expansion burnout like so many others, take the break. Go play countless other games. Personally, I take tons of breaks from this game. Uh, I'm still playing through Dragonflight. And somehow, I'm still playing Pokemon. So branch out. Don't force yourself to log in every day. Take a break. You could find that you're enjoying the game a lot more because of it. Unless you have a house. In that case, you're f***.